Hello Internet, welcome to Web Accessibility. Over the next few minutes, I'd like to explain why form elements require labels. Let's dive right in. If I give you an arbitrary input element of type text, you don't actually have enough information to determine what you should start typing. Even if you know that the form in which the element lives is requesting a mailing address, it's difficult to guess at whether a specific field is requesting your name, your street address, your zip code, or something else entirely. You need some additional context. Visually, we solve this problem via layout and by positioning textual labels next to the form fields. I see name next to the field, so I know I should type my name. Users who can't see the label, however, are apt to be confused. Let's take a look at a naive implementation of this labeling and determine how we can improve it. What we have here is a name, label, and an input field. If we run this through a screen reader, let's see how it sounds. Edit text. Edit text. That doesn't actually give me any context. It doesn't give me information that I would need in order to figure out what it is that I should start typing here. We have, however, this label, and it would be great if we could somehow semantically bind this text to the field. In fact, HTML allows us to do exactly that with the label element. The first thing we're going to need to do is uniquely identify this input field so that we can say label X is associated with input field Y. We do that with an ID. Great, so now the input field has an ID and we can use that ID to label it. We'll use the label element and set a for attribute that contains the same value as the ID that we've just set. Alright, let's run this through a screen reader and see how it sounds. Name, edit text. Name, edit text. That's excellent. That gives us the context that we need in order to start doing something useful with this form field. If we want to give them even more information, for example, a, an example of text that I should type here, we can use the placeholder attribute, which is gaining support. It's part of HTML5. It's not yet supported by all screen readers, but most assistive technology will pick it up at some point in the near future. Setting a placeholder element gives me some visual feedback that there's something interesting about this field. It gives me a hint as to what it is that I should start typing. A screen reader like Chromevox understands this and will read it out to a user. Let's see how that sounds. Name with hint first and last name edit text. Name with hint first and last name edit text. So it tells me that I'm in an edit field, that it has a label of name, and that I should type both my first and last name. This is perfect. For further discussion of accessibility on the web, come visit us at w15y.com. That's w15y.com. Thanks for your time.